Um, in terms of you know the pilot we've run, Bibli we've run at the University of Phoenix, what, what have been your initial thoughts on, on it so far? Yeah, I think um, with the pilot that we have been doing, you know, we, we have a very small sample so far, but we're looking, as I said, uh, with everything we do at the student experience. And so if the student experience is, is a good one, um, that their, their, their materials, be it their ebook or, or some other materials that they render correctly, uh, that they can do what they're used to doing uh, uh, with those materials, whether it's highlight a passage or uh, make notes on the, on, the, on the reader. If they can do those things and the experience is a good one, um, then it, it's, it's incumbent upon us to figure out if that solution will scale in our environment. And so with a pilot, uh, we'll do here a lot of um, A-B testing where we'll, we'll run the way we typically run and we'll introduce something on a side-by-side -side comparison and that's what we've done in this case um, with the BibliU as a small pilot that we will grow to see if we can learn even more and sometimes when you grow you break some things uh, and that's actually a good thing because you you figure out the, what you might need to do if you're gonna further implement uh, or if you uh, should maybe not implement uh, so breaking a few things is actually a good thing as you grow and uh, I look forward to growing the pilot to see what more we can learn. At some point with a small group of students, you've learned all you can learn from a mm -hmm. pilot. And uh, you're not going to continue to learn in, unless you uh, begin to incrementally scale it up. I was fascinated to hear prior that you have control groups that you look at and you look at doing dual surveys and this sort of thing. Many of our institutions are not-for-profits and um, often they, they won't even be open to doing control groups because they feel that if something's being provided, there shouldn't be a group without or a group doing yeah. something differently. And it makes it really hard to um, do any sort of analysis in the same way that you would in medicine. You'd look at a treatment. For sure. And in education, I see things sort of similarly. Like you have an educational treatment or strategy and you really need to get an idea of what does it look like against not having it? What does it look like against other strategies? Mm -hmm. um, and it can be hard to do. I think there's a sort of, um, yeah, mentality out there that, that um, you know, that, that it's not the right way. About yeah, and, and I look at uh, pilots as essential. Um, uh, A-B comparisons, uh, control groups as essential to what we do here for uh, continuous improvement. Uh, as you can imagine, we're approached by different uh, potential partners who, who want to try something with us. Um, and for us to, to try it wholesale across the board overnight um, probably does a disservice to our students because uh, who knows what can happen. Uh, and uh, you know, it, that may create a, an efficiency for us, it may create a savings for us, but our students aren't. Um, in, a, in a petri dish for us to wholesale test things on. Uh, if we take smaller groups of them and we do the best we can to make sure that the pilot is well constructed and we're pretty sure we've uh, mitigated any risks, a small group can help inform the larger groups uh, that would follow.